Okay, so we are on our way to Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Wait, well, we're going to some sort of Methodist church that has been completely abandoned. City Methodist Church? It's in Gary, Indiana, uh, which is 31 miles away according to the sign. Well, according to this, our we're next... 23 miles to our next direction and 30 miles away. Okay. Rapids to Gary has not been fun. Well, we did stop at a mall. It was fun. Yeah, we, we made it fun. Because we went to a, that mire, which was kind of dirty. Yeah. I was surprised at that. And then there was that dead mall where there was the one security guard who looked like a janitor. I mean, it is a disused church. Once the largest Methodist church in the Midwest, ceased as a place of worship in 1975 after a relatively brief life of just over 50 years. And this thing is going to look like a cathedral when we get there. Yeah. Um, it's been disused then for like 44 years now. A long time. And... Just like literally two weeks ago, it got a historical marker put outside of it. Yeah, which is crazy to think about because it hasn't been used for so long. And the building is... We're going to see if this thing's in disrepair, and I imagine it is. It's, well, I mean, it's got to be. Yeah, if it's unused, why is this trailer hauling a trailer? Hey, honey, can you stop talking Sorry. about shit outside of the car? Sorry, but that semi is hauling a trailer out. It just makes no Who sense cares? to me. Why did, okay, um, so the Methodist Church has been present. I'm going to take you to the Valparaiso vasectomy clinic. Dear God, If you no. get one side done, the other side's no. free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that. Oh God! You're keeping that in the video. <laughs> Probably. So, anyways, um, there's been a church in Gary, a Methodist church in Gary since 1906, which was also the year of the city's founding. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so this is a relatively new city. Yes, in terms of the in terms of the U.S., it is relatively new. Yeah. Um, blah blah blah. Dr. William Grant Seaman was the pastor of the Methodist Seaman. church. <laughs> it's probably Simon. It's S E A M A N. Oh. Seaman. Damn it. Seaman. Construction of the church that we're going to began in 1925. It took 21 months. It cost $800,000 to build. So that's a lot of money nowadays. Oh, yeah. That was a lot of money back then. Yeah. That was millions of dollars back then. Yes. Um, the first church service was October 3rd, 1926. And it was built by a company out of Chicago. Seat a thousand people, contain corporate offices, a gymnasium, Sunday school, and a dining hall. There were also plans for a bowling alley, but the bowling alley was never built. There was a rooftop garden on the hall, but it was never finished. And in 1927, there was a congregation of 1,700 and a staff of six. Wow. So that's kind of impressive right there. Yeah. Um, Dr. Seaman had grown unpopular with his parishioners. Due to parishioners. his parishioners, thank you. Well, uh, Dr. Seaman had grown unpopular with his parishioners because of cultural diversity, including Ooh. interfaith pageants. Wow! His dissatisfied congregation eventually had him involuntarily transferred to Ohio, and in some irony, his successor proved even less popular with the churchgoers. <laughs> so he was a front runner in diversity and trying to be inclusive. And Nobody wanted him. Or he was the opposite. He could have also been a racist and nobody wanted that. It doesn't say. But wasn't the guy black? I don't know. Um, or but, was that the other one that we were doing? So, wait, no, I think you're right. It says due, at least in part, to his interest in cultural diversity. Yeah. So he was probably looking to not... To have everyone. Have everyone. It doesn't matter. And specifically regarding other... I think the hospital was a black guy. Yeah. Um, the hospital so, that we wanted to go to. Yeah. Um, when Seaman died in 1944, he, they brought his ashes back and put it in the church. Nice. So. And there they sit. Yep. Um, during the Great Depression, part of the Seaman Hall was leased to Gary College. And Indiana University Center used part of Seaman Hall. And yeah. The church reached its pinnacle of its popularity in the 1950s, where membership surpassed 3,000 members. Um, apparently, Gary, Indiana declined in the 60s and 70s, and many 
of the church's fortunes began to crumble as well. Uh, the white middle class institution lost a lot of parishioners to white flight. You know what that is, right? White people just leaving the area because... Yeah. yeah. I figured white flight meant like an ex a mass exodus. Of, of the white, white people. rich people, yeah. yeah. Um, so he was white. Yes. But he wanted to have Make everyone it so included, for everyone, yeah. Which was unheard of in that Especially time. Especially in like the 30s and 40s when yeah. he was trying to do this. Yeah. Um, anyways, as the white people left Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, um, the social makeup of the city started to go down in terms of money. Crime rates went up, caused more people to leave, and maintenance costs for the church were too significant. Crime rates in the area soared, more to, causing more people to leave, and then the actual church started getting more and more cost uh, costly to maintain and by 1973 there were only 320 members of the then aging congregation so nice. the 320 people left after 20 years when it was at its peak congregation wow. like that's crazy and then out of the 320 aging members um, about a third actually attended the church services. So a hundred people. Yeah, about a hundred people would come to the church That's regularly. It. it could seat up to a thousand inside of the main hall. Right. So that's pretty sad. Yeah. Um, they tried to sell the church to a different congregation and then they eventually, because they couldn't sell it, it probably just cost too much to sell because of the size of the building and the amount of repairs needed to do. Right. Uh, the church eventually closed in 1975. Since then, um, the structure has passed in the hands of Indiana University, who still continue to use part of it as a satellite campus. By the 90s, the church was starting to decay and that it was severely damaged by a fire in 97, so it just accelerated the de deterioration even further. Um, and right now, it's much of it's still standing, but it's also beyond realistic restoration. Right. Um, it's on Indiana's landmarks, like you mentioned. And most of the interior fixtures have been removed by thieves. Because, you know, wires, copper, all that stuff. Right. In 2011, part of the roof sanctuary collapsed, so when we get there, we'll actually be able to see open sky. That's why I was worried about the weather. Yeah. Because if it was going to rain, we, we don't want any it. part of it. But since it's going to be nice and sunny, we should be okay. Yep. Um, 2014, the city authorities revived an aborted plan from the 2000s to turn the site into a large park in which the sanctuary would be the centerpiece and then to demolish the rest of the complex. Um, that doesn't sound good for us. We just went, we looked up to make sure that it was still standing. Yeah, and it it's is. still standing. Um, it's been used many times as a film location, including for A Nightmare on Elm Street, Whoa! Transformers, Dark Side of the Moon, I wonder if Michael Bay blew it up. I told you that this was scary. Yeah. Um, it was part of Pearl Harbor and then the movie Sense8, where it's the word sense and then the eight at the end. Sense8. Sense8. Yes. Okay. And then the series Life After People included the church and its exploration of Gary from season one, episode two. So... This place is filmed by a lot of hipsters or millennials trying to just look at weird places. And then it's also got a few movies uh, that can be credited in too. Yep. So that's really cool. So we'll, we'll take a look around and uh, show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, we figured it'd be a lot of fun. It's a little different than what we've been doing. Yep. And it'll be... Kind of putting feelers out, seeing what we want to do. Yeah. Kind of like... It is exploring. It is adventuring. Yeah, it's a different kind of adventure, too. Um, we are also looking at some abandoned sites in Wisconsin to kind of see if there's anything cool up there. A lot of it's in decay and is basically just ruins, so there's that. But I think Gary, Indiana will be a lot of fun to go through at this church. Hopefully. Let's go to Gary. So this is the church. Oh my god, you can see, look at the damage up there. Yeah, there's a lot. That's probably where that rooftop garden was. There's trees growing out random parts of the building. Yeah. So this is our church. Let's go inside. 
And black southerners, so. Mm -hmm. So it was immigrants, white migrants, black southerners, came to Gary, all for the steel industry. There's remnants of that you can see off of I-90. Yeah. So it's all boarded up. We've got broken windows. Like you can see inside. We'll yeah. get in there in a second. Eventually. Somehow. Do you want a pipe? Found a weapon. Found our weapon. Can shoe? You shoe? Where's your weapon? It's got a heel on it. So lots of boards and stuff. Look at that. That's so old. Computer monitor. I'll get over there. Oh. So this is where that roof collapse happened. Can I have the phone? What for? Okay. Just give it here. Honey. What was that? She said, I don't want you to freak out if you come in. Okay. You can kind of see. We're not the only ones in here. We got a garbage can. Hey, come on in. Do you want to go up those stairs? Nope. If you come over here, these stairs go down too. Nice fireplace. Was. Was. It's interesting that it's only dripping in certain areas. Yeah. So this, this must be where they had this is, at least one of. Oh yeah, this is the, um, there was a, what was it called? There was an auditorium here, that's it. Oh, that looks crazy. Guess which way we're going. No, we're not. This, is, this feels like it was a ballroom at one point. Possibly. Definitely feel the dry rod in some of the floors. Oh, yeah. Do you want a couch cushion? Oh, I'm good. Dan smells good. Dan does smell good. Another fireplace in here. I think gonna... you're safe to go through here. I guess just... Hey, you want a toilet? Hey, we found the bathroom. Oh, Jesus. Careful. Oh. It's just... It just trapped. It's fine. Trash. That's one that's been blood for a while. Somebody tried to clean it out with their hand. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to go much further than this. Damn, really smells good. <laughs> this is another way into the congregation. I don't know, this is probably a tapestry right here. I gotta touch it. <clears throat> This is... Oh, see, that looks dangerous. Yeah, there's definitely there's debris caught in that tapestry, and it could go at any time. So I'm not going to go under there. But that Your was... Your dad. <laughs> that was definitely the main stage in the sanctuary. Or Your the mom. altar, I should say. And this part is... A lot of the, look, 
up there, a lot of the stained glass windows yeah. are damaged. So there's oh, no, no roof there. That's actually not the stained glass. But up here, some of the original stained oh, yeah. glass. And look at the tiles. Yeah. This is just slowly becoming reclaimed by nature. Is this what you climbed up into before? Yeah. I don't want to go under there. That just looks extra unsafe. This is collapsed. If you look this is where we came in. But all that cl hasn't collapsed earlier is just beyond me. Looks like there's a whole another level up there. These look like concrete stairs, but uh, I am not going down there. Oh, actually, those are wooden stairs. So, yeah, I don't know how you would get down there without breaking yourself. There's that bridge. That's what I mean. That bridge seems sketch. That's probably how people do it. Let me see. What would for? Yeah. This part feels like it's actually stays dry. Somehow. Yeah. They can feel like there's a little bit of width to it, like it's so Oh, I just got this on. Yeah, that's a Time to go back. It's a trap. Not all live. Yeah. I think we can go back. Did we go back there already? No, we didn't. I don't really want to. I think it'll be safe. There's stairs right there. I'm good. But those those are reinforced with steel, it looks like. Tribe of Pride. That looks like it could have been part of... I think this is the fire area. That looks like burned wood. It's going to look the same after it's been getting soaked for the last how many well, years? it could. There's some lead, that's probably lead pipes back there though. Yeah. That was probably a kitchen at one point. Alright. I mean, it's... I'll be waiting. Like... So there's what we were looking in before. You just hear how much it's dripping above. Oh yeah. This is that auditorium. We can see. We could theoretically go up on the stage. I don't want to. Okay. That doesn't look safe at all. Bree just Bree. never showed up. What date? It's at 3 o'clock. It's a pumpkin cafe, so it can't have been here too long. Yeah. You can see what appears to have been a staircase it may have been here going down into the underbelly of this church. Living outside society is shit. Somebody left their Steve Madden purse here. Purse is here. 
Or these were probably stolen at one point. Oh yeah, hundred percent stolen, emptied, and left here. Yep. There wasn't uh, that creepy hallway. It goes further back into here, so there wasn't too much further to go. Yeah. So. It looks like this was a skylight. So there's passages underneath here. Yeah. That second floor was definitely classrooms. Oh yeah, for sure. There's the no side. roofs up there. No roof up there either. Yeah, and if you, if we were on the other side of the street, you could see that top triangle point yeah. is leaning back inward. Oh yeah. So this is the. We're going to the back side of the church. By the other side. This is probably where those classrooms are. Feels like there was a building, like something connecting these two buildings at one point. Yeah. Like this one. No, nah, I'm good. Do you need a spring? Uh, no, I think we're good on the spring. Oh, that's funny. The gutter looks like it's held together by the vine. I think it is. Okay, so that's the door to that area we were in before. Let's see, we can't really see too much. Not really sure what it is. It smells musty. If only you could smell what this smelled like. You could tell at one point how beautiful that building used to be in its prime mm -hmm. and it's kind of sad how it is now yeah. like they're a little bit like that auditorium you could see that it was really well built and it had hints of that beauty but not anymore yeah. Gary Indiana man Gary Indiana you should have seen some of the stuff we saw when we were coming in. We, I couldn't get a good video of it because there was nowhere to park. Yeah, but, but like, like abandoned buildings, graffiti everywhere. And this is just off of I ninety, which yeah. is the toll road. Like there, there's definitely a really nice neighborhood outside of this church. Like just across the street, it is a very beautiful set of houses. Well, right behind here is the housing authority. Yep, so. and then there's housing authority, so projects. Yeah. So this is definitely, it's populated. There are people around it. There's a charter school across the street. There's a convention center across the street. That looks Wait. not well maintained. No, They're going that... inside. Okay. <laughs> Why did you roll that down? I want to hear a scream. Oh yeah, because there's... Uh, there's a group of kids in there, and then there's another guy who just went in there, too. And I think they're going to... Kids? They're, like, in their 20s. They're probably 20, 30s age. They're hipsters. And they're going to definitely run across each other and creep each other out. Possibly. Um, anyways. So that was fun. Yeah. This was on our way home, and um, one of my coworkers actually found it in one of those clickbaity articles where it's, like, 50 abandoned places in the U.S., and I was like we're passing right by there in a couple of weeks like what's it about yeah and it was definitely it was surreal it, it gave like a post-apocalyptic vibe mm -hmm. and you can definitely tell that nature is reclaiming this property slowly like there's the trees that are just sprouting up all over the rooftops yep. there's a lot of growth inside where there's sunlight mm -hmm. even the sanctuary 
Like, that's becoming a sanctuary of nature, almost. Yeah. Um, a lot of trash, beer bottles, cans. People all the have parties there. Gary that was Gary's the church. City Methodist Church in Gary, Indiana. Definitely worth a stop if you're in the area. Yep. I wouldn't yeah. go out of my way to do it, though. Yeah, I mean, if you're passing through and want to check out something really cool, take some really interesting pictures of, like... Just society abandoning a place. Yeah. All right. Well, if you enjoyed that, like, subscribe, comment, do all the things, and uh, catch us next week. Yeah. Or, well. Okay, so we were going to end that video. We were done talking we were, about it. We were done talking about it. And then and, we left. And then we were, yeah, we were driving down Broadway in Gary, Indiana. And it was one of the well, most. We drove down lots of streets. We drove down lots of streets. and. Uh, like every There's pictures. Check my Instagram, yep. Carrie twenty one eighty eight. Carrie twenty one eighty eight for Instagram, and you can see like every corner we turned, there was just another abandoned building. Like I, it, abandoned houses, abandoned, abandoned houses, houses, apartments, abandoned, abandoned buildings, just everywhere. Yeah, there, it is. there was even a there was a Philly cheesesteak place like right before you got on the highway that says we're open, and they have to have a sign that says we're open because everything else is fucking closed. Yeah. Everything. It's abandoned it's, or closed. I've never seen anything like it. That whole city just felt so depressing yeah. as we were driving through. And then we got onto Broadway Street, which felt like it was supposed to be one of the main dry, yeah. drags. And like a every, main street, usually? Yeah. And as you're going down, you see open business and right next door, abandoned building. Abandoned, 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 abandoned. The, open, the, abandoned, abandoned, abandoned. Gated up, so could be open, but not open on Sundays, kind of a thing. Yeah, and we don't know. We will never know. Like Gary, we'll be back. We're, yeah, we're gonna we're, come back. We're, we're gonna coming come back. back and do some more exploring because this was this was nuts. Yeah, like I feel so. I feel depressed. Yeah, that city just. It feels like a ghost town. And it, everything is so sprawled out. Like you would have never guessed that. Mm -hmm. We were reading though when I was reading that Wikipedia stuff about the church, like you didn't really get a sense of the the community left, the money left Gary and Indiana. White flight. The Legit. white flight. Shit. Yeah. Like cool. it doesn't even feel like all the white people left. It feels like everybody left. Yeah, and everything that's left, they just couldn't afford to leave. You can get fireworks, they accept piece of Mastercard. Okay, that seems sketchy. <laughs> like holy but still like that is in an insane community because of how how empty it is. Yeah. Like all I want to do now is go home and research Gary, Indiana. I know. That's all I want to do right now. Like <laughs> I want to pull up Wikipedia on Gary, Indiana, and just see more about that. And it, I just I don't I don't think that'd be interesting content. Like, because they could just do it. Yeah. But we'll show it to you. Yeah, like this is... We won't read it to you. We'll show you, Gary, Indiana, next year. We're yeah, gonna we're going to come back We're going to come warmer. back in the spring. Sometime maybe like May or June. May or June, yeah. But not July, because it'll be like 100 degrees. Yeah. Holy... I thought that said royal exorcism, and I was real concerned. And you tell me not to look about things on the, other road, on the side of the road. Okay, but that was one of those things that you can comment about. If True. you think it says Royal Exorcism instead of Royal Excursion. I... Let's talk more about Gary, Indiana. Like, holy shit. I, I think we're done talking about Gary, okay. Indiana. So, I, you can end this. Alright. Alright, bye for bye real. Bye for real.